Georg Ludwig Heinrich, Niklaus von Bailow, was born on September 20, 1907, in Anklam, in the province of Pomerania, in the German Empire. He and his family were members of the German aristocracy. He trained as a pilot in 1929 at the Deutsche Werkers Fliegerschule. From 1929 to 1933, he served with the Reichsheer 12th Infantry Regiment. Bailo then joined the German Air Force and served with Jagdjes Varda 132 Richthofen, and then transferred to Jagdjes Varda 26. He became German leader Adolf Hitler's Luftwaffe military adjutant in 1937. Bailo's task was to be the link between Hitler and the Air Force leadership. Hitler generally disliked and didn't trust soldiers with aristocratic backgrounds, this was distrust got as the tide of World War II turned against Germany. But Colonel Bailo was one of the few members of Hitler's entourage to continually serve closely with him for many years. Between Christmas and New Year 1944, Hitler told Bailo, I know the war is lost the enemy's superiority is far too great. He also told Bailo, we will never surrender, we may go down, but we will take a world with us. Hitler retreated to his funeral bunker in Berlin on January 16, 1945, as his long-serving Luftwaffe adjutant, Bailo traveled with Hitler to Berlin. Early on, Hitler continued to use an undamaged wing of the Reich Chancellery, where he held afternoon military conferences in his study. However, that quickly ended and all the military briefing conferences were moved down into the Führer bunker. By April, it was clear that their Battle of Berlin would be the final battle of the war in Europe. On April 12, Bailo was a guest of Albert Speer, as they went to see the last performance of the Berlin Philharmonic before the city was captured by the Red Army. By April 27, he was part of a very small group which were present for Hitler's military briefings. General Hans Krebs was the only senior military officer still present. On April 29, after the wedding of Adolf Hitler and Eva Braun, Bailo was a witness to Hitler's last will and testament. He didn't sign the political testament, but he did add his signature to the private testament of the document. After this, he asked Hitler if he could leave the bunker and try to make it out of Berlin to the west. Hitler allowed him to leave. On April 30th, Bay Low managed to leave Berlin carrying a letter from Hitler to Field Marshal Wilhelm Keitel explaining the recent events of betrayal and praising the sacrifices of the German people. In 1946, he was arrested by the British, and held as a prisoner of war until 1948. Years after his release, he wrote a memoir of his experiences as an adjutant to Hitler from 1937 to 1945, titled At Hitler's Side. He died on July 24, 1983 in Dittmold, West Germany, aged 75.